Volvo is dialing up a new way to unlock its cars starting next year. Yeah, but first, there's apparently some gender bias when it comes to shopping on eBay. Our consumer expert Amy Davis is joining us with more. Yeah, I know. This is so strange, but they actually did some research. And according to this study published by Science Magazine, women who post items for sale on eBay earn less than men for the same exact items. Researchers found that women sellers get 80 cents on the dollar compared to men. That means fewer bids, lower final prices for the same new products. Now, the gap narrowed for used items. Women earn 97 cents on the dollar for those. And researchers say that might be due to buyers trusting women to give more. More accurate product descriptions for those used items. eBay doesn't even require sellers to display their gender, but the research showed that more than half the time buyers were still able to figure out the seller's gender by their username or items they sold. They're really doing that much research, right? <laughs> well, SeaWorld is shaking things up at its theme parks, replacing the presidents at its San Diego and San Antonio parks. And critics say the move is coming after backlash from that documentary Blackfish about SeaWorld's killer whale program. SeaWorld announced last fall that it will end its killer whale shows at SeaWorld San Diego. The Examiner Gazette says SeaWorld has seen a decline in its stock price over the last year. And you don't need to worry about losing your car keys anymore if you drive a Volvo. Beginning next year, you'll be able to use an app on your smartphone to unlock and lock your car doors, even to start your car. The automaker says its app will make it easier to share your Volvo with family members <laughs> because you can just deliver a digital key to anyone who may need it. And what we don't know is if there are any safety features to prevent someone from taking your car if you lose your phone. Uh oh. Yeah. Volvo says customers. If they want a regular physical key instead, those will still be available. They'll still work. Good. <laughs> I, hope, yeah, I hope other folks do that, though. Because I'm always in the key loss situation. Yeah, but then you just lose your phone. No, I don't lose my. That's the one thing. Because that's like I always to right there next of. to you, really. Yes. Yeah. Oddly. I don't know. It's kind of strange. I see like dead battery, and then you can't go anywhere on my phone. Uh, I don't. Know. And then be like, oh. Oof. I didn't even think, think about, about that. Right. <laughs> A lot of things you got to think that's about. That's why Amy's here. I'm it's shot. The real I've got thing. no car and no phone. And yeah, oh, if your yeah, wallet's now in your phone, right. no money either. Right. Not good. So the question of the day, because the story you did oh, yeah. was on the like laundry. laundry service. Can you outsource it? And so I we let people watch the story and then continue happened? to think about it. Interesting. Flipped. Not flipped. Yeah, earlier at early one point, ninety-seven percent of people said I would not pay somebody else to do my laundry. But as you start hearing about it and, and start thinking about, thinking about it, it, yeah, yeah. like this could so be a bad. good thing. We're really missing out on that quality of laundry folding. Right. Life. <laughs> Isn't that a team building thing at home? You have the whole family to do. There's no team in laundry. Right. Yeah, it's, no. always, it's always me. <laughs> there's especially no team when there's a two-year-old like picking up oh, things. Yeah. Oh, no, that's dirty. Stop. You guys, right. you guys didn't worse. see the viral video of the toddler doing laundry last week. Either. I didn't. Never ends up working but I need to house. show it to my child. <laughs> <laughs> There's a toddler that does laundry. Work. Mine are right. worthless with the chores. <laughs> yeah. Uh.